Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out in Disney's California Adventure and I'm going to be attending my very first Oogie Boogie Bash. I'm in town for the D23 Expo and they're having a special D23 Oogie Boogie Bash tonight. It's going to have some super rare characters that are only available tonight and we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and just have a wonderful Oogie Boogie kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. I am definitely that person that says, why can't we get this stuff over in Walt Disney World? And Oogie Boogie Bash is definitely one of those things. I think it is so cool. All the different villains we get to meet tonight. And I'm just so excited. I mean, the closest thing we have to this is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. But a lot of people have to say this is way better. So I'm going to figure it out tonight and decide which one I like more. You are allowed to dress up when you come to the Oogie Boogie Bash. Today I decided to wear the Oogie Boogie Roosevelt shirt. Look at this. Isn't this perfect? This is not available for sale yet, but I will put a link in the description when it does come out. This is going to sell like hotcakes and it's the perfect shirt for an Oogie Boogie Bash. The Oogie Boogie Bash is a separate ticketed event and the park closes at 6 o'clock and only people that have Oogie Boogie Bash tickets are allowed to stay and we actually have to get a wristband and check in so I think we're gonna hop in line here. Now when I say that this Oogie Boogie Bash is for D23, it's exclusively sold to D23 Gold members and I think the tickets were like 170 some dollars. I don't know how much Oogie Boogie Bash is regularly, but uh, maybe less tickets are sold for this because it's only uh, D23 Gold members. So I kind of like that. Another really cool thing that we have to look forward to tonight, we're actually going to be going to the Oogie Boogie Bash dessert party where we're going to have a special little section to watch the parade and I'm so excited to watch this parade. I mean, I'm in love with the Boo to You parade so it's going to be cool to see how this one compares. I mean, e how everything compares to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Oh, look at this. We actually see a kind of fancy scary Mickey. Well, not a fancy scary. Oh, yeah, you. Look at you. <laughs> he looks really, really dapper though, but at the same time, like, count dapper. Count dapper. <laughs> He's count dapper. Look at, that. Look at that. I love it. When you buy an Oogie Boogie Bash ticket, you can get in the California Adventure as early as up to 3 p.m. and the event doesn't start till 6. So we have some time to come up with a plan on what we want to do and also maybe grab some of the Halloween snacks ahead of time. Like, you know what I mean? Before all the festivities start at 6, let's go grab some of the Halloween treats so that we have more time to actually enjoy the party. Right here at Clarabelle's, they actually have a big variety of different uh, Halloween treats and we decided to get a couple of them. Look at this over here. I think this is the apple pie, or the, yeah, that's the apple pie cider. And that looks really, really fancy. And then this that's the, the pumpkin pie the cider? pumpkin pie float. It's oh, the hard? Oh, well, fancy. And then this is the cereal ice cream sundae with the Malvicent uh, little ice cream sundae dish. Look at the Disneyland. What are you, a hand model? I'm the ice cream model. Ah, it looks really good though, doesn't it? Rudy Pebbles. So we're gonna try all the snacks. All the snacks. All the snacks. It's really funny the people that you'll actually run into in Disneyland. I know, so weird seeing you here. Find them crow, hey. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what, what do you call it? Slim Jim Sean. Slim Jim. <laughs> Southside Slim in the back here. <laughs> All right, first thing we're gonna try is the pumpkin cider. Look at this. It actually has a little pumpkin cookie in there. Isn't that a, is that cookie? a cookie? I'm pretty sure it's like a pumpkin, like shortbread cookie. Yeah, and it looks good. I mean, I'm all in on the pumpkin, so we're gonna try this first. Also, it's really cool to point out the, these are Halloween adult beverages. Like, thinking about that right now, like, you can't get that in the parks over at Disney World. Disney World could never. Yeah, they could never. They couldn't do that at Magic Kingdom. Uh, so this is really fancy. Disney World will never do a lot of it. Oh, that's good. If you like pumpkin, that's the way. Nice little, nice hard cider. Now we gotta try this ice cream sundae. Look at, is this Fruity Pebbles on there? If it's Fruity Pebbles, I'm all in. Oh, look at this. Oh, what's underneath there? Is that a secret ice cream flavor? Here we go, a little ice cream and a little cereal. My two favorite things that involve dairy. That is so good, and it's actually the real Fruity Pebbles. I know a lot of time people use knockoff, 
but I can tell the difference. I can taste the difference in Fruity Pebbles, and that is the real stuff. That's the real deal? That's the real deal. That's the real Fruity Pebbles. It's going to be a fun night, and I'm going to be hanging out with uh, Dion and Cher. Look at this. Isn't it going to be fun? Well, actually, it's Jill and Serena Ray. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be hanging out, doing Oogie Boogie Bash. I like the hat. It looks very nice. I don't. Yep. I also like these. At first, I thought they were cake pops, but now I realize they're the pens. But I thought they were cake pops because I was like, hey, when did we get cake pops? Let's take a look at the map. We've got Villains Grove. Step inside a hauntingly beautiful scene of some of your favorite Disney villains. And then we have the Frightfully Fun Parade, which I told you I'm very excited about. We have the Treat Trails, and I'm excited to meet Oogie Boogie, Mickey's Trick or Treat, and then all the photo opportunities. And they actually have the map kind of laid out so you know where to go find some of the characters and treat spots. And it's so interesting. Like I said, normally I know where to go and I have like a routine, but I'm just winging it. <laughs> One of the things that I'm most excited for at Oogie Boogie Bash is probably the rare villains that actually come out and you get to meet and greet all around the park. Some of them I've never seen before and some of them we really can't even talk about. Yeah, I think you guys know where I'm going with this and hopefully we're going to see as many as possible, but uh, we'll try to mark off each one. Even if we don't wait in the line, at least just see them in person I did Diddy about. Even like as we're walking by and passing by. I'm pretty sure Bruno is actually going to be doing meet and greets right there. And I might be uh, guessing that he's coming right now. Look at this. We don't, we don't talk about Bruno. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at him. He's just so clever, and he came out of there like he was hiding in, he, like he was hiding behind the walls there. Oh, what a way to start! Oh, look at the baby Bruno. <gasps> that is so amazing. That was really cool, being able to catch Bruno make his grand entrance. And like I said, it was also like really awesome how he came out of those wooden doors, kind of like a, like I said, he's in between the walls and stuff. And uh, now I think we're gonna make our way over to Avengers Campus because. That's where I hear, uh-oh. I think the Oogie Boogie Bash has begun. <laughs> Look at no place to hide. <laughs> That's cool. I'm very excited to actually meet Ernesto De La Cruz too. And that's not him standing in front of us though. But it is. He looks very fancy. Very fancy. Huh? Oh my lord, it's the Scarlet Witch. Wow, well I gotta go say hi, wherever she's going. Should not be sitting there. Huh? I haven't seen, no? No unusual magic? No unusual magic. Oh, that means you must have seen Steven yet. Oh. Very strange. Well, that's kind of fancy. We're sitting there in line waiting for Ernesto de la Cruz, and then all of a sudden the Scarlet Witch appears. Let's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's even funny saying that sentence out loud. I was in line to see Ernesto de la Cruz, but as soon as I saw the Scarlet Witch come out, I abandoned ship, and now the line's pretty long again, but I don't think he's out because it's raining out, but I have, we have to check because it's not like a character meet and greet. It is a trick or treat location. So you just walk by and you see him play his little guitar. We'll have to come back and check on him once the rain stops a little bit. But I did stumble upon a special D23 official photo opportunity here with Oogie Boogie and it actually looks really cool. There it is. That is the special D23 photo opportunity. Really cool actually. Dion and Cher are starting to get a little bit hungry, so we're gonna grab them a spicy pulled pork dog and some Oogie Boogie funnel cake fries. Take a look at that. Look at that, I'm already really impressed with all the food. The foot-long spicy pulled pork dog is a sweet and spicy pulled pork with uh, tropical chutney, and then the Oogie Boogie funnel cake fries is dusted with crushed chocolate cream-filled cookies and top it whipped cream cookie pieces and gummy candies. Isn't that so, I mean, this is really creative. 
I think we're all just gonna share all of the items because there's so much here and the funnel cake french fries look so cool but I'm a little questionable about the uh, footlong dog look at this isn't that so funny looking I don't even know what's going on top there I know it's got the pineapple chutney but I love the award wieners french fries they're so good but there's no way I could eat all this like that's a big dog right there Seriously, I love these french fries. They're so good. And take a look at this. Here are the Oogie Boogie Funnel Cake french fries. Got some gummy worms in there, some candy corn, some green frosting. This is a cool looking treat. All right, I think I'm gonna grab some of this, but I feel like I need to get a little like of the candy corn on there. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, you gotta do that, right? Oh, should I get an M&M too? Yes. There we go. It's like decorating a funnel cake. A warm too, I don't know about that. Maybe like that. Oh look at this. I just think it's kind of cool, but here we go. Oh wow. I love that. These are so good. Look at that. I can eat the icing all day. I definitely love that. I would get this over that hot dog any day. Now, the hot dog was okay, I just didn't like the sauce, but I'm all in on the icing. Alright, enough of the Oogie Boogie funnel cake fries. Now, let's go see the man himself, Oogie Boogie, and do some trick-or-treating. I'm pretty sure Oogie Boogie is actually in here. Oh, it says welcome D23 members. And uh, the end of the line starts here. So here we go. I like how there's characters at treat spots. I think that adds a really cool touch to this. Oh wow, this is so cool in here. Oh wow, look at, there's Oogie Boogie over there. Mr. Oogie Boogie. <laughs> oh, and we gotta do some uh, trick or treating. Right here, thank you, oh, sorry. Thank you. Hmm, even Joby Brother looks a misty. I'd say there's trouble. You like my shirt, Oogie Boogie? Anyone seen that Sandy Claus around? <laughs> well, if you do, tell him that Mr. Oogie Boogie is looking for him. Ah, will do. <laughs> Well, that was really cool. Oogie Boogie was so fun. He was yelling at people to move along. I tried to see what he thought about the Oogie Boogie Roosevelt, but uh, I don't think he noticed. It was too dark in there. He was too busy yelling at me to keep it moving. But that's true Oogie Boogie fashion right there. Now we're making our way back here to see Cruella. Actually, new Cruella. This is from the newest movie. And that's really fun. I've never seen her before. I've seen the regular Cruella. I like her a little bit better. But I do like how she has a nice setup here. Ooh, trick or treat! Thank you! You gotta be kidding me. Is that a full size Rice Krispie treat? Holy moly! Oh my lord, there's another treat spot right here. This is really, this is a lot. I'm gonna show Corella a picture of Gracie Girl, see what she thinks. Do you like my dog? Look at that. Gracie. Gracie. Yeah. Gracie sometimes. Oh, that'd be lovely. Yes. It'd be wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> she loved Gracie. Look at that. Gracie got a shout out. I can go home now because Gracie just got a shout out from Corella. She said she would love for her to come visit. How crazy is that? I don't think I'll allow that to happen, but I do miss Gracie now. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm sad, <laughs> but it was really fun. It was magnificent, marvelous, Madam Lim. It's dreadful to meet you, my dear. And you as well. Oh, thank you so much. All right, go get more candy so your teeth will look just like mine. <laughs> Hi, Madam Lim. Oh, hello there. Hello. What's your name? Mr. Morrow. Oh. Oh, all right, an interesting name. Yes, it's M M M M. Oh yes, I enjoy that. Yes. Well, all right, carry on. Thank you. We'll do. Have a great day. <laughs> oh. 
Well, that was really cool. I really liked meeting her. She was really cool and interactive. And I told her that we had like the M&Ms in common because I said my name was Mr. Morrow and she's Madam Mim. So like M-M. I don't know. I just thought I was in favor of her. And now we're heading back through Avengers Campus and uh, hopefully we'll see who's out about. Since there's no sign of any paranormal activity happening over here in Avengers Campus, uh, I think we should maybe go ride Mission Breakout. And it's actually kind of like a Halloween overlay and I've never done it before, so I'm very excited for that. And I'm pretty sure Serena hates this ride. She hates Tower of Terror. Like she is like, she will not ride Tower of Terror. So I've been trying to tell her it's not as bad as Tower of Terror. So I hope I'm right. Honestly, this is amazing. It's only a 20 minute wait for this. Look at this. Generator out, cages open, creatures loose, enter at your own risk. This is really awesome. I'm so excited. Yes. I have always wanted to do the spooky version of this. Oh, what are you guys still doing here? Tour is over. The cages are open and the creatures are loose. You got to get out of here. We're going in first. Look at all the red lights too. Thank you. Back row here. Ooh, we got the whole gantry to ourselves. Hang on to it as tight as possible. I hope your hat will stay on, Dion. <laughs> oh, yep. Hands up. and I was screaming it was so amazing that might be my favorite ride like this like layover like the holiday like that's definitely gonna be my favorite uh, holiday overlay like hands down even in all the parks Serena are you wiping your tears Stop. Okay. you're wiping your tears that is so funny oh yeah we can go again it was only a 20 minute wait no, I'm not. I think Zombie Cap is coming. There he is. Look at him. 
happy I finally got to see Zombie Cap. That is so amazing. He's the special D23 character for tonight. He was here last year and he, they didn't bring him back for the whole entire year and now he's actually back tonight only for D23 and that's so cool. I'm so happy that I finally got to see him. Now we're actually waiting for Ernesto de la Cruz to actually come along. Oh, Ernesto! 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 <laughs> I like the music stop that way, did it? <laughs> Alright, louder! Louder! Ernesto! 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 Come on! We tried! He's coming? We forgot about him! That's why! We can't forget about him! And I know, you think I am so great, you think I am the greatest in God, because I am, how could I not be here, how? Oh. Ernesto was really fun, it was great because the cast members kept on telling us to cheer to have him come out, and then he finally came out, and now we're going to head back and uh, see if we can go through the uh, trail back here. The one that they said is better at night. And uh, I know a lot of Disneyland friends, like I have a lot of local Disneyland local friends, and they said this is one thing I do not want to miss. I have to stroll down here to say hi to Maleficent here. Look at her up there. That is so cool. Well, good evening. Good evening. Oh, Ooh, well, thank What's you. Mr. Morrow? Mr. Morrow? Mr. Morrow? Yeah. But you're here to live. Yes. Tom Morrow. So mysterious. Mr. Tom Morrow, everyone! Yes, you may applaud. Here today! Wow. Very fancy. Thank you. I'm yes. impressed. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Who's that next to you? You don't even know her. I don't know her. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, you know me? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Look at. She's making connections. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel so honored, right? That is a prestigious thing to get acknowledged by Maleficent like that. And now we're gonna go see Mother Gothel. This is like a really fun night. I'm really loving Oogie Boogie Bash. Ta-ta! <laughs> Ta-ta! Ta-ta! Hello! Hello! Are you here to tell me something? No, oh no, just, just sitting. Just here to stare at my beauty! Oh yes! I mean, I don't blame you for gawking! <laughs> <laughs> gawking! I mean, how can you not? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Not if you do see my flower, tell the mummy misses her! Uh all right, now I think it's time we go check in for our Oogie Boogie dessert party. And we're gonna have like a nice little dessert serving. And I think that we get a reserved area to watch the parade too. So uh, it's gonna be good to sit down for a little bit because my dogs are barking. Wow, I really love California Adventure at night. I kind of wish we were able to see World of Color, but uh, I'm not too sure we're gonna be able to do that. I don't think they do World of Color during Oogie Boogie Bash, and I think this is gonna be my last California Adventure night, so. Maybe next time, our next trip out. Today, I mean, uh, this trip was mostly about D23 anyway. We got seated for our table at the dessert party, we have a little menu, and I like our spot, it's very nice. They have a uh, beer and wine selection, a Poet's Potion, that's a rum, and then they have a Jolly Red, and it also comes with water, coffee, tea, they have some Blue Moon, 
and then here is all the desserts that we have. And we actually already got it. As soon as we sat down, they brought it, and that's awesome. We've got a red velvet bun cake, an orange dreamsicle rice crispy, a triple chocolate mousse cake, dark chocolate fudge pop, raspberry mini streusel, and then gummy ones. And it all looks amazing. Look at that. So cool. My feet hurt so bad, I decided to take my uh, shoes off and let the dogs out. <laughs> it's so funny, I'm just sitting here like this. Oh, and I just found out that it's two alcoholic drinks. So you get two alcoholic drinks and then unlimited everything else. So we got the Poet's Potion, it looks really cool. I'm gonna dive into our desserts here. You know, this isn't a bad seat at all. I actually love it. So I'm gonna dive in. I don't even know what I'm eating first. I'm just gonna start cutting and then taking bites. Look at this. That's good, it's like a strudel. Cheers to the poet. Poet's Potion. Ooh, I like it. I've sampled a little bit of everything, and I think my favorite is probably this little Rice Krispie Treat. A lot of it's a lot of chocolate, but cake pop chocolate too. But this Rice Krispie Treat's so good. I'm pretty sure the Headless Horseman's gonna come first, and look at this. I love that we have a table right here, and they're gonna come this way. So like it's it's really an awesome viewing area for a parade. I don't think I've ever had a better parade viewing than this right here anywhere. This is also the first time that I'm gonna see the, the Headless Horseman this year because at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, it got rained out, so I'm very excited. Driving after you, it's time that you head home. <laughs> Don't look back. Do not delay. If the headless horseman gets you, you won't see another day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Come on down, everyone, for a little fun. Hey, hey, look.
glad I put my shoes back on because they got really close with those shovels. You can come. Oh, the food's great. Very good, very good. Oh my lord, it's wrong. He ha he got no time for that. Oh, in Hades. That was a better parade than Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, but Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party has a better song. Nothing will be food to you, but that parade was so phenomenal. And Hades, there were so many amazing characters, I loved it. Since we are over here after watching the parade, decided to go on a night ride on the Incredicoaster, which I love, and uh, yeah, I think this is gonna do it for us though. I don't think- Keep your eye on Jack Jack. I think we're calling it a night here. Overall, I gotta say, I really love Oogie Boogie Bash, but I feel like when it comes to a price point, I think Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party definitely offers a lot more with the fireworks and uh, all the different ride overlays because they have multiple ones. The only thing that I see that is a little bit better is the character interactions here and also the candy's better. Like they were throwing whole Rice Krispie treats in the bag uh, and it was really cool and also it's more adult oriented. You know what I mean? I mean it's really cool like at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party but here they have like alcohol. It's like I said almost having like a Halloween party at Hollywood Studios and uh, either one of them are absolutely amazing but you know like I said it's tough it's tough for me to say that I like one more than the other 
but they all have equally good parts. So I really can't say 100% which one I like more. I can just say I like them both. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.